a freely falling body passes through two points a and b at the distances h1 and h2 from the start then the time taken by it to move from a to b so here when a body is freely falling from certain height so on its way it crosses two points first point a and second point is b so body is falling from certain height so now from initial position to up to point a height is h1 and again from the start to point b height is h2 here we want the time taken by it to move from a to b so first do one thing let the time taken to reach from start to point a let it be t1 and from start to point b let the time t2 so the difference of these two t2 minus t1 gives the required time here so first we know uh, the distance traveled by a freely falling body we know initial velocity of freely falling body is equals to 0 and acceleration due to gravity a is equals to z and the height is h1 take second equation of motion s is equals to ut plus half jt square in place of s height h1 initial velocity 0 plus half time t1 so from this here first term is 0 we want the time so t1 is equals to 2h1 by g square root of 2h1 by g next from starting point to b point h2 is equals to initial velocity 0 plus half g time t2 so g t2 square and from this t2 is equals to 2h2 by g and square becomes to root so t1 is equals to square root of 2h1 by g and t2 is equals to square root of 2h2 by g so we want the time to reach from a to b so up to a time is t1 and up to b total time is t2 so the time taken to reach from a to b is the difference of t2 minus t1 t2 minus t1 is equals to here square root of 2h2 by g minus square root of 2h1 by g here root 2 by g is common in these two terms so square root of 2 by g of root h2 minus root h1 so the time taken to reach from a to b is square root of 2 by g into root h2 minus root h1 